pretty clearly lost in the first quarter. Um, the first quarter was a dud. We didn't didn't come out with atti attitude or presence. Um, dug a big hole. We were poor defensively. And from there, it was it was uh, uh, an uphill climb. Third quarter was great, um, but you know when you when you start the game as poorly as we did, you leave so much to chance. Um, I mean, second half they hit it, they hit a three where the ball hits the back of the rim, bounces up eight feet and goes in. I mean, two plays where the ball bounces off Gobert's hand and just goes in the basket for and ones. I mean, if you're not right at the beginning of the games, um, basketball guys are, are not going to be kind. So we just got to keep learning from this stuff. This stuff was very reminiscent of the San Antonio game, which is extremely disappointing because, you know, the Dallas game showed so much promise. Uh, but this is where a young team's got to learn and grow and get better. You mentioned the San Antonio game. This one, New Orleans scored 48 in the first quarter last Friday. Has there been a theme to you of these starts? Is something leading to these first quarters that aren't going your way so much recently? It's it's just, you know, I, at the beginning of the game, we just, our, our physical guys weren't physical. Or, you know, we just didn't have the kind of attitude you need to have against a physical high-level team like Minnesota. And, uh, you know, we just we paid a heavy price for it. Um, you know, halftime was pretty animated, and you know we we talked about you know physicality, and we had a sellout crowd, and we got to we got to get these these people dying to get into the game, and and we jumped into the the third quarter, but it can't it can't be just when you're getting punched in the mouth every time. So uh, we just got we got to learn from it. Got to learn from it. You know. Nothing's given. Everything's got to be earned. So, hard lesson. You guys, Tyler took the lead a few times in the final couple of minutes. What did you see as the difference in the end, and what did you think of your team's performance in those last few minutes? Well, I mean, Edwards' shot making was was you know no, next level, and even when we double teamed him, he got away from us. So, look, he's a great player, and that's why you know that's why. It's, you know, every second of every minute of the game matters, you know. Anything you can do to get e get even slightly ahead or stay even or sit, stay close to even to start the game, um, you know, makes a big difference in the long run. So, um, you know, just, it's, a, it's a tough lesson, but one that we got to take our medicine to learn from. You talked at the beginning about how important Pascal was for keeping you guys just afloat while Tyrese was out. It seems like there's been a lot of occasions where when you might be struggling, he's a guy that keeps you in it. I guess how important is he in situations where things aren't going the way that you want them to go, that he's a guy that gets you a shot and kind of buoys you and keeps you in games? Yeah. Second quarter was a good example. You know, we've been playing him with the second unit some of the last couple games, and uh, he did just that. He uh, got to the rim, got the ball in the basket, um, you know, helped help the team stay afloat during some dry spells, and so he's very, very valuable. What uh, you know, Tyrese seems like he's just continuing his ability to create. I think he was seven of eight from inside the arc today. I mean, like, how much do you like what he's doing, even when the three isn't necessarily falling? Find a way to get him some offense, and, and you know, finding other ways to get the ball in the basket and create. Yeah, he's a great player. I mean, what if, what else you want me to say? I mean, you know, <laughs> sure, fair. yeah, he can do all that. I mean. Mm. Um, yeah. You obviously, sure. You moved Nemhard onto onto Edwards uh, in the second half. Just what did you like about the presence there? Obviously, Anthony still made some incredible shots. What would you like? About oh, he played him like he was pissed off. You know, I mean, there's a big difference. Um, and you know, Edwards is a physical player, and you got to play physical players physically. Um, you know, I, the whistles weren't going our direction tonight, so you know, but so we needed to do something to. To, to dictate what was going on. Second half we did, first half we, we didn't. And so, um, again, it's just, you know, it's a tough, it's a, it's a tough learning thing. 
on the last play, I mean, did you just like the, the angle Neesmith had? Is that the reason you decided not to call a timeout there? Did you just see a clean lane and say, uh, that's a good look? We'll get the best point guard in the game. And I'd, I'd, I'd rather have the ball in his hands without them calling timeout and being able to set their defense. And, you know, I mean, Aaron decided to go to the basket. <laughs> he, uh, there were a couple of things he could have done. Uh, at a two-point game, he could have he, he could have driven one drill, pulled back, and shot a three and won it. You know, um, so, but I trust Ty Tyrese in those in those situations. Um, you know, playing against a set defense late in games is very very difficult, and so you know, we we take this approach on m m way more occasions than not, and have and have had success with it. So, you know, it's look. I take responsibility. We didn't score in the last possession, but that's on me. Fine, um, but you know the f the first quarter, you know we got to we got to do better, and that's on me too. I gotta I gotta do a better job. I gotta figure out a way to convince these guys that that hard play is is going to carry the day in this league, in in every game down the stretch because you know, we're we're playing all teams that are playing for something, you know, um, and you know Minnesota's. You know, at the top of the West, Dallas is is playing for positioning. You know, Orlando on Sunday. We know we know where that's what that's all about. And um, Oklahoma City, Chicago. These teams are all they're all fighting their their butts off. So um, we've we must we must do the same. Just uh, I don't know. I mean, I just think our starting lineup has to do a better job of starting games. It's kind of been a reoccurring theme. Um, at times, so we just got to do a better job uh, starting quarters and finishing quarters as a group, uh, all four quarters. It's had a lead, a tied game a few times late. What did you see as the difference in the in the final minutes, even beyond Ant just going crazy? Yeah, we uh, felt like we got some good looks uh, offensively. Um, I mean, Ant obviously made some special shots. That's what he does, and they're a great defensive team. Uh, in the last play, you know, I felt like we got a good look. Or they just, I mean, it was a special defensive play by Ann. He just made special play after special play down the stretch. Um, but yeah, I thought there were some interesting, um, interesting no calls, some interesting uh, decisions there by by the by the refs. But uh, I mean, kudos to them. They're you know one of the best teams in the NBA for a reason. They they play hard. They guard. Um, they're a really good team. You, what, did you get hit in the left hip? Did you fall on it? I could tell you were kind of feeling at it a few times. Yeah, right Aaron accidentally need me uh, during a rebound. Pascal obviously was able to keep you guys. I think he had 14 in the first half. It was, it was taking a little while for you guys to get going. Just how, how important has he been in some of these stretches where maybe everything isn't working that he's able to kind of get you guys a shot and, and you know continue to kind of create his own offense in those scenarios? Yeah, I think when things slow down, he just is uh, calm and steady and – Proven and makes play after play down the stretch. Um, I thought he did a really good job for us, getting us uh, buckets when the game kind of slowed down there. Um, we just didn't make enough plays defensively as a group. Just you mentioned the good shot, the, the shot you got at the end. I mean, just what what all goes through your mind on that entire stretch? What are you looking for? What do you you know? What tells you just attack rather than you know try to pull back and you know call a timeout or anything like that? Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know if Ant was if we didn't know if Ant, I mean I didn't anticipate Ant missing the free throw, but when he did. I just saw Aaron behind the defense and saw like an advantage for us. Um, and I think coach trust us, trust us and trust me to make the right play. And I felt like that that was the right look for us. Um, you know, him behind the defense attacking a, you know, a defense scrambling to get back there. So uh, just again, kudos to them on just making a hell of a play at the end of the game. What, uh, uh, how do you think you're sort of, I guess, continuing to prove this when, as you're continuing to kind of move through the shooting thing. I think you were seven of eight from two, you know, obviously 13 assists, certainly able to create a bunch of other different ways. I mean, how are you just kind of continuing to, to sort of figure out your offense as this goes along? Yeah, just keep being aggressive, trusting the work that I put in and it just takes some time, uh, but but I'm getting there, I'll get there. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but um, I know that we gotta figure it out. Um, just can't start games like that. Uh, it's, it's on all of us, uh, the starters. We gotta just come in with way better energy. Obviously, I mean, we missed a couple of shots, but I just thought like our energy wasn't wasn't great in the beginning. Um, especially, I mean, against every team, but especially against a team like them. You know, they first in the West, so you gotta you gotta come get be be ready. You know, and like 
for those type of games especially, you know, like those are tough matchups. So it's just not, not really a good start from us, but I thought, you know, we bounced back from it um, and we, we, we give a pretty good effort. Would you put it all on energy, or was there some execution things you felt like didn't go right? Yeah, I mean, I think I think we missed some shots. Like, I, I, I mean, I thought like I, I, we had a little couple of turnovers. Um, that usually it's not great, especially in the beginning of the game. Get the other team going, they get easy baskets. Like, um, and then we just didn't get into anything like really like good at that time. You know, like we just not we're just slow. Um, and and that can't happen in the beginning of the game. Um, so we just, yeah, we, we got to have a way better energy than that, like, like starting games. Um, and I think the guys, you know, understand that. So we, we should be better next game. You guys tied it up or took the lead a few times in the final couple minutes, but couldn't quite get it done, obviously. And it was crazy in the final couple minutes. But why do you feel like you guys couldn't quite get over the hump at the end? Um, yeah, he made some tough shots. He made some tough shots. Credit to him, like, you know. Um, like, really good defense and some of those shots. Like, he just, he just made some tough shots. Like, um Sometimes a player like that gets going, um, and and I thought we, we we executed well, like we got some of the stuff that we wanted to get, um, but yeah, it just it just couldn't get real stops for. Real. Just you, you know, you'd obviously talked about the slow starts at the beginning. It seems like when the offense isn't clicking as well uh, early in games, sometimes you're able to get going and just find a way to, to create some of your own and get some momentum started. I guess do you kind of see it as a responsibility for you in, in that case, especially offensively, to get yeah. things going? And what do you think about your skill set? makes that work. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, like, again, obviously, like, the way we play, like, it's just, you know, like, we go out there, we play, and, and we move, and, um, but, you know, I, I always feel like, you know, when things get a little stagnant or, you know, whenever we, we need an answer for something, you know, I feel like, you know, I can always get something going, um, but, you know, just early on in the game, I, you know, I miss a couple of shots and, and things like that, but uh, I always feel like, again, I can always get a good shot down the floor, uh, especially when we need a bucket, so, um, just got to continue to to work on that, and within whatever we do, just find a way to you know just naturally without you know like stopping our offense or like you know stopping everything that we do, just just getting the ball in the, in the in the position to be attacking. So, um, just got to continue to figure those things out. What uh, is what in particular do you think you guys got better at defensively in, in the third in particular? When you guys I just thought we had better pressure. Like I mean, if you look at the film, like I thought. In the first half, you know, there was a lot of rejects. Like they was getting to the rim, like they had layups. Like um, I thought in the second half, they didn't they didn't do that. You know, it was pressuring way better, um, helping block shots. I think well, Miles got like four blocks. Um, like it was just more connected. Like I, I thought um, than than the first half, which again I think our defense can be way better if we we just connected, play together, help each other, um, and pressure um, a lot better. Just be the, the aggressor. You know? They came in and, and we got hit first. So um, it's, it's tough to respond against it's a team like that. That's that good. Because um, we, we got great runs and we was able to come back. But, you know, a team like that gets going. It's tough, you know. I think Andrew got switched on to to Edwards in the in the third. I think what what impressed you about what he did? That's obviously a tough assignment, especially with, with what Anthony yeah. was doing late. But it seemed like he was bringing a lot of presence. I mean, he's he tough, well. man. He's tough. Like, um, when I look across the board, just every single night, like, he's – He's guarding somebody tough, like, and um, he's making plays. He's making it tough on them. Like, the league is hard. Like, you have offense, you know, obviously he's got it towards offensive players, you know, like trying to guard somebody that's going to take, what, 35 shots? You know what I mean? I, like, you can you can get stops, but they're going to score also. But I thought he was really tough, like, and he's been tough all year, like, uh, especially since I've been here, like, just seeing him, like, every single day, no matter what, how many minutes he's playing, he's out there, like, guarding the best player, um, fighting on every screen, pressuring, like, I mean, that's that's very special. Like, a lot of, not a lot of players can do that. Um, and he's able to do that every single night. Pascal, when it comes to understanding the caliber of player that somebody like Anthony Edwards is, when he's able to take a game over the way he did in that kind of fourth quarter, what is it about his game that allows him to find success in those moments? I mean, he's a true three-level scorer. Like, he, he, can, he can get to the rim, he can score mid-range, he can shoot threes, like, I mean, that says it all right there. Like, you know, it's kind of hard. Um, some players, you can gap them or whatever, but he can make shots. He can make threes. He can make jumpers, um, mid-range jumpers. He can get to the rim. He's one of the most athletic players in the league. So, um, so yeah, he's, he's definitely a tough cover. Um, with with Towns being out tonight, what was kind of the game plan of a, of attack to, to, to go after the post? Um, no, I mean, I think they <laughs> – like they were number one C for a reason. Like they got a lot of players. They got guys that come in that, that are ready to play. 
Um, I didn't think our, our game plan, you know, like change or anything. It's just they, I mean, they got Nazri that's coming in. Like he's he's an elite player. Like um, he does what they want to do. Like what they need so so well. And um, obviously, I'm sure they miss you know uh, Cap, but like they they have depth and and they're a really good team.